some days I think, wow, I've got maybe five days worth of work done in a single day. And the result is I'm able to do more, get higher quality results and earn more money in the process. And in this video, I want to show you just that, how you can 5x your efficiency with some non-obvious AI tools. This isn't going to be your usual chat GPT. It's some unsung heroes out there for you to start using today. So if you're not using Notebook LM, this is a tool I'm using more and more and more. And one, most of the features are in it free, or if you have a Google Workspace, then a lot of the extra features are included in that plan. So you don't even have to upgrade to a paid Gemini or anything like that. I'm going to show you one of the cool features I use in it. Um, let's go to my YouTube here and pull up a video. Say you're, look at this one, wanting to skip the Google sandbox. Go and grab this URL of this video. Go over to Notebook LM and click it in there and pop a YouTube video into your notebook here. You could go and actually put in lots of sources in here as well. Say you wanted to go through several videos and you're looking at how you could use, how you could learn SEO through YouTube videos, basically. But instead of watching them all and taking notes and sort of piecing it all together, you could take all your favorite videos you've been watching or every or loads of different resources on a particular subject, put them into your sources here and then start playing around in Notebook LM. The, the best feature I love is this mind map tool. If we hit this mind map button here, it's going to generate this in like two seconds. You can see here it's it's got all the information you need in a nice sort of tick off sort of mind map. So whether you're looking to learn a subject or I sometimes use this for, for presenting, I get my sources together and use this to help present um, YouTube videos. But you can see it helps you bring everything together, everything you want to know on a subject. So you could even use this for, you could try another one. There's one I really like that uh, if we create a new note and you can actually use it in an SEO context for creating a topical map on a particular subject to give you full content plan. So let's look at backlinks. Let's say you wanted to build yourself out as an authority in the back space and you wanted to do that through your content you could get loads of sources off youtube add them oh let's just get this right add them into your notebook lm and then first of all you can create study guides briefing docs timelines faqs on the subject to help you learn it and become an expert in this subject and also create the mind map now you can go and see all these briefing docs it's going to give you an outline just for you to have an understanding of of everything in to do with um backlinks that's being taught in that video you could put multiple sources in there as well but what's really cool is you could say actually this could be my whole content segment i could make videos on each of these areas of backlink building use digital pr and then talk about these services within that video you could talk about um, stealing competitors backlinks and how you're going to go and do that it's actually built out a really nice content plan either as a whole video or for individual individual videos so that's a really cool little hack with notebook lm for your seo it gives you a quiz and a, and a quiz answer maybe you could even use it to build pub quizzes and things like that um so it's a really great study guide as well so that's really cool the next tool that is crushing it right now is one called riverside now most people think this is a podcasting tool and i do use it for recording this youtube video now but i want to show you something else in here so but I want to show you how you can use the AI to not just create video really quickly, but actually create other content. So you can start putting out blog posts, um, social media posts, writing email campaigns, all from a tool like this. Now, number one, it's got an AI producer in here. So this is allowing me to put out YouTube video every day for 70 days in a row because I don't have to fiddle around cutting out little spaces and all that sort of thing and trying to piece it all together. This tool, this AI producer in Riverside, actually you just hit one button and it goes and removes all the pauses. So I can stop and then start again and it won't have a pause in there when I regather my thoughts and think about the next thing because it's automatically going to cut it out. It's going to go and remove filler words. It's going to find fluff. So I can do multiple takes and it will go and find the best take and cut out the old segments, which is really cool. Um, that all basically happens automatically with AI. So actually I get a pretty much first draft, pretty polished in three clicks of a button. Now, the other thing I like is this, you can edit by text as well. So you can actually delete words and dub things over there. But what I really love that about that is it gives me a transcript of my final video and I can take that transcript and I can repurpose it really easily using Claude. 
Claude's one of the best writing LLMs and you can make some custom projects. They're like custom GPTs, but actually a lot of the time I don't use that. I can just use the standard version with Claude Sonnet 4, which is the newest model turned on. You can also have extended thinking and web search and you can connect it to your Google Drive, Gmail, so you can actually pull from your own knowledge base as well or help it even write emails for you. But what I do is I take my transcripts and I put it in here and then I've got this prompt created that is going to convert my transcript to a conversational blog post. And importantly, it's kind of just going to use my words, but tidy it up into a nice article. So I can use that and it's going to go and use my YouTube transcription and this prompt, which you can see here, I've asked it to turn it into a polished article that sounds like I wrote it myself, follow these specific instructions, um, you know, keep my key points and personal anecdotes, format for engagement, the structure that I like in my blog post, please maintain the conversational and human quality of my speech. And you can see here, it's not going to come and dream up and hallucinate. It's going to use my hooks that I've used in the start of my video, which are nice and short and sweet, get straight into the different areas I'm talking about, even pull out keywords. But one of the cool things, because it's writing off my transcript and my voice, AI is working as my editor, not my writer. So if you go to um, an AI content, content detector like Originality AI and you scan that, it's 100% confident the text is original. Because it is, I've just used AI as an editor. So I lean on Claude to do things like this, to turn my YouTube videos into other content types that are not AI written, they're human written by my voice. I use it to check content that is made sure it confirms to client guidelines and writing styles and proofread content. But as you can see here, I've got probably a 2000 word blog post. That's one of my favorite little tricks that I can use to write stuff really quickly. Then what else have we got? I've been using Bolt or I had used Bolt a lot in the past, which is an AI coding tool basically that you can deploy full stack web apps and mobile apps in just a few clicks or a few prompts. Like you could prompt it and get it to build something. Let's see if I can load one of my projects here that I've created. Uh, let's see if it runs. Here we go. This was Copy Train that I, I built. I don't know if it's actually running at the moment. Let's see if we can get it working. No, it's not actually up and running at the moment, but that's a copy writing training app that allows you to improve your copywriting skills, which is really cool. I should really launch it because it is a nice, a really nice fun one um, that's actually useful. Like I built it because it was something I wanted. I've also built this forecasting, SEO forecasting app, again through Bolt, where you can put in your month, current monthly track it, traffic, AI efficiency, or target keywords that you want, your monthly SEO investment, so how much you're paying your SEO agency or how much they're going to charge you. So let's say it's $2,000 a month. I'm currently getting 1,000 traffic. I want to rank for AI efficiency. My tool is order value or the lifetime value of my customer is $300 on average and I have a 1% conversion rate. It goes around, goes away and starts to calculate this based on the, the sort of maths and internal metrics. And you can start to see that the ROI of the campaigns is actually positive immediately. If you were to ch change that order average order down value down to 100 at a 1% conversion rate, you can start to see like initially we're having a negative ROI, but we're growing and growing and growing. Anyway, so that's cool. That that took me like 20 minutes, half an hour to build with Bolt. I've also been using Replit. That's very similar to Bolt to build this thing called Bucket List Idea. It's literally just a place where people can um, go and create their own bucket lists based on ideas on the platform. It's using low volume keywords on, or low difficulty keywords to rank stuff on Google is the plan to bring users in thousands of users available on, on Google based on the keyword research I've done to come in. And I actually was building this little thing in here yesterday, this random idea generator um, that says, you know, gets you to sort of engage with the platform initially, go stargazing in a dark sky location. You could add that to your bucket list. You could go through loads of other bucket list ideas here, add them to your bucket list, and then oh, we've got a little error there at the moment, but then you can start progressing through your bucket list and all the ideas you've got here. And to be honest, I was running this, I'm running a lot of these at multiple times. Like I'm getting Claude to write my blog post while I'm adding stuff into these little apps I'm building or, you know, studying things on Notebook LM and implementing them elsewhere. What else have we got? Google Gemini is another great one. You can do all sorts of stuff in here. I've got some cool prompts, but you could use it to become an expert in any given topic really quickly or 
what have we got here? You can get it to build a target audience segment through deep research. It's going to go and do a lot of deep research on a particular subject. And so this, you're an SEO strategist. The task is to segment your audience for my SEO and AI YouTube channel. Define a customer ICP based on their demographic, psychographic, buying behavior and needs, blah, 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 blah. Basically, go and find my ideal customer pain points. So I'll run that and I'll go back to maybe what I was building, copy train or working with Claude or editing my YouTube video over here while Google will go and be doing this research, basically. What else have we got? We've got Ideagram's a cool app. Really like this one. These are all AI generated images for some projects we were working on. So you can see this. This was for some website mockups that for some brands that were starting a, a sort of outdoor brewery brand. You know, that these are literally just in a few you describe what you want in here. It improves the prompt and comes out with all these sorts of things. Look at these, these are pretty cool. We needed some images of some wood for some clients we were working with on their website. This is pretty great. This was a, a decking company that wanted to have a rural sort of alpine deck lodge sort of images and you know they didn't want to go and spend the money to take the photographs themselves and these are picture perfect basically for what they wanted and that's you know there's all sorts of fun stuff you can generate in here and also let's give a shout out for if you're not using canva pro then you're missing out like if you're still faffing around trying to work out how to photoshop or paying people to remove backgrounds of things for you you should be using canva because it's crazy let me give you let me take this image that we AI generated here and put it into Canva. And, you know, if you're making YouTube thumbnails, even this is great. You can use this background remover tool and it can take the background out. You can go into the edit feature on the right and it's got this magic studio it can remove the background. It can generate more background. So we could say like, or actually it's got a magic eraser, magic grab, but magic expand. So you could say like, oh, I wish this was, uh, landscape image and it can go and start trying to expand your image and so you know while i'll be waiting for this to happen if i'm working on an image for something i'll go back to google gemini see how that's getting on it's still researching we'll go back to canva okay it's not done i'll grant you it's not the most amazing job there but we could then it's given me some other <laughs> options <laughs> okay that's more like what we want that's pretty cool now next we could go and say you can grab text you can magic edit we i like this magic grab tool you know instead of cutting things out in photoshop if you just want to grab a particular thing from an image like let's say i just wanted the rubber ring and that coffee boom we can go and grab that it also does this cool thing let me find one with um text on image i don't i don't know what to search for this but let me take something like this this is a really really cool ai feature in canva let's put this into canva and say you you like i really like this image but the text is wrong or i don't have the original ai um, the original photoshop file or something for your design but the text is annoying you can go into canva and grab text and then look hello you can start editing the text um <laughs> pretty cool google gemini is still working away here but you can see the in-depth of research it's going for to find my ideal ICP for my YouTube channel or for a client or something like that. And boom, it's gone out and, and finished its report on that prompt. It's even got this new thing here at the top, create something new based on this, like an audio overview web app or timeline. You could ask it to go and create a web page or a web app or a quiz or anything based on this information. So we could actually find our customer pain points there and get it to go and even build an, <laughs> build an infographic. Let's ask it to do an infographic on these customer pain points to visualize everything for us. But you can see what it's gone through. It's gone through looking at the demographics, predominantly millennials and Gen Z, 30 to 49 age bracket, psychographics. You can see all the stuff, buying behavior, their needs, and little summary of all this information. It goes on and on and on, motivations, fears, pain points. This is what we want. Acquiring initial customers can be a significant hurdle. Proving ROI, technical knowledge gap, all really important parts of building a great SEO business rather than necessarily just the technicalities of doing SEO. And even while I'm reading through this and showing you this, I've got it on the left-hand side here, building out a, a, an infographic, which 
could be great to include in other content as well from your research or from other stuff I was writing. It's come out as a web page actually that could be published as well, which could be great for digital PR reports is my immediate thought, which is another thing I've been using Claude for creating reports. So none of this stuff is like crazy complex AI agents or anything. A lot of the stuff I'm doing is what am I trying to achieve or what jobs have I got to do and how can I use AI to do it quicker or automate the process for me. And once you start getting into the flow of how to use these, you'll have multiple running at the time and you'll be checking in and prompting different ones to be doing five jobs at once instead of taking it a whole day to do one job.